Okay, here's some more work I'm doing with this uh, USB solar panel that uh, was very, very efficient in low light. And I think it's because of these crystalline uh, cells. Instead of amorphous, they're crystalline. And they, for some reason, they work really good for this application. I don't think there's any voltage regulator in this. Um, I think when you put it out in direct sunlight, it puts out the 5.5 volts to charge your cell phone, a small one. But other than that, it's just... Uh, bunch of solar cells in series and parallel but it works really good in low light i'm in a back bedroom um early morning hours and there's a light coming through a window through the curtain right there that's my energy source there's the energy right there coming through that uh, window now yesterday i ran this experiment with a different pulse motor with a small super cap and it started filling up the super cap as I ran the motor, which is what I'm looking for. Because if you did this on uh, ambient interior light, you'd have to have a setup where during the day, more energy came out of that than what the motor used. So during the night, it could run through the night. And this is how my 24-7 motors all operate. They absorb more through the panel than the device uses during the day, and then they run on the stored energy at night. Now, um, this is a really simple design. It's just two microwave oven a, a turntable motor coils, and you can get them online really cheap. It's one NPN transistor. One of the coils um, is activated by a magnet going by and turns on the transistor. It just goes from the ground to the base. And then the other coil, which is the collector to the positive rail, um, it turns the rotor and the energy comes from here it's in a little uh, 200 microfarad cap now if I simulate what would happen at night this is just a little LED lamp watch the speed on this the camera frame rate should show this speeding up And so this is where I'm thinking, if you had a motor set up in your house that during the day got energy from a window, and then at night you had it underneath some kind of a lamp uh, in some part of the house, this would run all the time uh, from the not only the energy coming from a window, but at night from the energy from a lamp. So this was uh, my thought on this um, using ambient light in a dwelling of some sort that could run something um, around the clock 24-7 uh, as long as uh, nothing wore out or broke it would just keep right on running so this is a uh, um, granddad is working with this too only on his panel he's using an amorphous panel which i think is more sensitive to the light but doesn't have as much power but i'll give a link to his um, his video using one of these uh, USB type of panels uh, on his it's an old power bank that he took the panel out of an old power bank and uh, Used it. This was a uh, straight into a phone kind of setup for this one here, but I've been rather impressed by the amount of power You can get out of one of these now you can still get this in an electronic gold mine. They're about ten bucks, but uh, Boy, that'd be ten bucks well spent. I've never found anything um in all the years I've been working with this stuff, that gives you the most amount of energy for free out of the air as long as there's some kind of light. Now in pitch blackness, of course, this won't work. But every day the sun comes up where I live, or even if you're in high latitudes, you're going to have a light on in your house. It's going to be fire, uh, kerosene lighting, or it's going to be electrical lighting or something. And this thing here will give you a return on that light investment and you can use it you can either use it to run another light or you can use it to run some kind of a motor but uh, like I say um, there's a lot of controversy about so-called free energy but in in my world um, light is free as long as the Sun comes up every day where you live and that shows it powering something thanks for watching